this is what your life can be like when you live next to a river in Nanyuki. I'm very lucky that I live next to a river, but I do have some great listings of land that is right next to a river. So you can do this for yourself. From places like in Liki to Daiga, there are some really incredible places and really incredible listings that we have. That's my dog ninja. He almost fell into the river, but luckily dogs can swim. So living next to a river, you can plant fresh fruits and have like your own orchid, like what we have here. You can create a camping site. You can create a place like this where you can come and read, drink some kombucha, maybe even some wine and just hang out and enjoy the peace and quiet. The birds, the monkeys, sometimes this tree tends to have monkeys. So you can come and experience all that. So let me show you those listings. This area called Daiga in Nanyuki gets me really excited. It's a really beautiful part of the country. You've got Lol Daiga Hills on one side where the conservancy is and the entrance is not far. You've got Mount Kenya on the other side that you get to see the most beautiful, incredible views. Some locations you can even see the Abadea Ranges. Oh my goodness. And then when you have trees like those that you can build a gazebo and have your house amongst them. Oh, incredible. This particular property we got there in the evening because I got distracted at some of the others that we had gone to see. And when you are around a river and the flow of the river just calms you, you don't even realize time is passing by. So forgive me, this one's not very well shot, but you can see the sunset, you can see how beautiful that is. We also had the adventure of meeting up with some drunk guy, that guy in the distance there, who was like singing and talking to himself. And he crossed the ravine that you're going to see at the end. I was like, wow, it's incredible. He's really drunk, but he still knows his way home and he's able to cross this river. Wow. And the river is actually quite big. You can see that gorge. And there's a road, uh, a big road that supposed to pass there so it's already marked and earmarked for that. Muramati is an area that's on the way to Sarova Mayan. If you've been on that road you branch off before that and it's a foreign neighborhood very safe and everything very beautiful area. This particular place has indigenous trees river frontage like really really nice lol daiga is literally like right behind it liki has a lot of history from back when the white settlers were here and you should actually read up about it so the advantage of liki is the fact that you're very close to town it's about five minutes from town you can walk to seda mall from here and it's a really beautiful neighborhood, beautiful part of the country where you've got that city that's very close, but at the same time, you've got this rural feel, country home, security is really good in this area. So yeah, it's a very prime area. White settlers in the area as well. Um, and now as we're walking, we're going through these indigenous trees that are in the area. And one of them is called Oleleshwa. And what I learned about it is how to use it as deodorant. There it is, that's the Oleleshwa tree. And you crumple the leaves 
and spit in them and <laughs> put them in your armpits and that's what the Maasai's do uh, when they're in the bush they use it as deodorant it has a nice sandalwood like smell it's really nice so those houses I've just zoomed into are owned by a politician and they are pretty much rented by Batuk, that's the British Army, the British Air Force, the Army, <laughs> yeah. So Ninja is really excited. I can tell good listings from how excited Ninja is. The more excited he is, the better that listing, like the more prime it is. And when it comes to river frontage, he goes absolutely crazy. You'll see <laughs> later as he's sticking his nose into the river. So this is the property you can see. This is of course riparian land. So riparian land is owned by the government, but it doesn't stop you from beautifying it. Like what you saw um, with where I live. You can beautify this area, make it up, um, put sitting area and stuff like that. It do they don't stop you from doing that. You just need permission if you're going to cut down trees and stuff like that, which I don't imagine you are. Yeah, so we're walking along the edge. You can have a camping site here, put temporary structures. There is Ninja trying to get a lick of water, <laughs> testing the water for acidity. <laughs> so if you're interested in buying land in Nanyuki, whether riverfront or otherwise, do reach out to us. Contact information is on the screen.